Hey guys, I'm back today and I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I just kind of wanted to come completely fresh so I can tell you guys exactly what I do. And I've been getting, I've been doing a lot of snaps about um, like my masks and things. Like when I, I do masks a lot, like Asian masks, so I always just snap because it looks crazy. Like I put on like five different masks and stuff, masks and stuff. Okay, so I ate all this sour candy last night, like, and now the sides of my tongue are like fucked up and so I don't think I can like say my S's right it's so embarrassing I think they're like inflamed or something it's like I'm a fucking mess but they're so good they I, Ikea has this like new candy bin stuff where there's like bins of candy these raspberry like coke bottle shape gummies are like Sour Patch Kids on steroids like I've never had anything about, I probably had like 20 pieces last night I'm so fat oh my god okay but let's get started I am going to, I gotta do, like, kind of like hurry because I feel like there's a lot, I kind of want this video in my head, I want to be like start to finish like what I do like all the time and it's very like, it's very like Korean pop star-ish, like okay, you guys know I'm obsessed with anything having to do with like young Asian or like Asian culture or things like, like, things like that, I don't discriminate against like which Asian, I just love all Asian stuff. Um, and I think lately I've been really loving like K-pop vibes. So like they're like the style, I don't know. I just like love going to like different stores downtown. I don't even know the names because, around downtown in LA because it's all in Korean. Um, you guys can watch my last couple vlogs ago. I went in like Korean malls and you guys can see. But I just loving like the effortlessness of it. Um, and I think it's very my style. Plus, you guys know I love a dewy look, like a dewy face. I don't like anything matte. I don't like a lot of makeup. I think I don't look good in a lot of makeup. I don't like a lot of colors. And I feel like um, Asians, they have like, when they do, they're like the K-pop stars, they have a very like, dewy face, like good like contour, good features, but it's not like overdone. Sorry about the noise. Um, Ming-Chi is playing. Oh, let me show you Ming-Chi. She stole all the wrap. There's big deal. Oh, we're wearing magic necklace. Oh my gosh, I forgot, yeah, okay, so I don't always keep this on her, but I forgot that I put it on her for the video. She is wearing a little dog collar, <laughs> okay, it's the same as this, but for a dog, and um, I know a lot of people have been asking for that, um, so if you guys do want one for your dog, I can make one for your dog as well. They're the Coco Curb Chokers for the puppies, right? Yeah, oh, obviously it doesn't work as a leash, it's just like fun just to put on them. Um, it's it's not like too tight, it's just, it's just like comfortable. Okay. So, let's get started. I'm gonna talk about masks briefly. I have so many questions about what I do. Ugh, my nose is like really inflamed today because I'm like, whatever, I look shit, okay. So literally, this is my mask like tub. I have like all of these paper kind of masks that I just leave in here and I use them like whenever. I don't have like a regimen. I just like, if one night I have nothing to do, I'll just put on a mask, blah, blah, blah. I do try to do something every night, not like a mask every night, but something like whether it's like a nose mask or a lip mask, something like that. But I'm gonna tell you guys my ultimate favorite mask right now. I'm gonna try to link this because I don't even know, like I know they do have it certain Asians like, like Palace Beauty, I think they have it there. It's this Collagen Full Pack, and it's by uh, Samsung, honestly. That's what it's by. I don't know if Samsung probably makes not only like phones, they probably are like into everything in uh, Korea. I don't know. She's making noise, sorry about the chewing. Um, this, I, it's like a, col it's Collagen Full Pack, and I just take it and I like literally layer it all over my face. Like layer the shit out of myself before I go to bed. Like I don't care, I go to bed looking like a, looking like this pig, literally. I have, have all this like collagen, whatever it is, all over my face and I have, like feel like I'm dripping. Honestly, so gross. It looks like something else. I'm not gonna say what it looks like, but I go to bed with like, this white shit all over my face. It's gross. But you guys, in the morning I wake up and I'm just like more buoyant. Like I feel like kind of more fresh. Um, I love it, okay. Then I also went and I spent a lot of money at this like Korean or Chinese like, um, skincare place and I trust the lady because she's really pretty and I, she knows me so I don't think she's like ripping me off but she told me to get this which is hydraulic acid, 100% hydraulic acid and this photo complex gel. Okay, you guys, I'm not good at like any of this stuff. I just like kind of like 
trust people sometimes, like, okay, what do I get? And like she tells me what to get, what she uses. So I put like drops of this and this in anything I do at night. So like I'll put it in this, like a lot of it in this, I put a drop of each. I'll, I don't know, I just kind of fucking use this shit. Like I don't think like, okay, like I'm so not good with like schedules and I don't know, like what, to, I don't know. I'm not good at like measuring things out and not as far as, <laughs> that sounds really bad because I'm in, I do jewelry, but no, not like that. As far as like, okay, on Friday night, I'm going to do one drop of this and one drop of that with this and that. Like, I don't do that. I just kind of do whatever I feel like and I don't know, works for me. Okay, the next one I want to talk about real quick is this brand and it's the Cell Derma, okay? I'm going to try to find this brand. So it comes, there's eye masks of it and there's fat chin masks, double chin masks of it, and there's a full face mask of it. They're a little bit expensive, like not too bad. I think like $4 a stop it, a piece, but I swear to you guys, like, okay, if I'm having like a bloated day where I have like a double chin, I put this on, it does kind of like sh sh shrink it a little bit. Um, I don't know. It's fun. Like, it's fun. I feel like it's fun. I'm enjoying it. I have, like, the money to kind of, like, play around with. Like, I understand sometimes, like, $4 a mask is a lot for some people, but, you know, look, not all those masks are $4. Sometimes there's, like, a dollar each, but, you know, I figured why not? Preventative reasons. I'm also going to let you guys know I do do injections, and that's, like, a lot of the reason why I feel like my skin does look good. Like, if I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I do have, like, this, but I don't really, like, move my forehead too much, and I love the shit out of it. I don't care. Like, I don't have crow's feet, you know, because I do, like, like some Botox, but whatever, like, okay, this I'm going to do. Let's go right now. This is premium intense. This is my new BB cream I use, and it was really expensive. You guys are going to kill me, I know. But the lady told me, like, this is what she uses on her face, and she looked like a, like a porcelain, like, china doll. She was so pretty. I just do one squirt of it, okay, and then I do one squirt or one pump of this vitamin C Aromatica, and I do one pump of this Aromatica in collagen, just like that, I guess, too. I don't know. I don't, you guys, I don't really know, okay? Like, honestly, actually, I forgot to say something. And then, like, I don't know, that's what I do. But I forgot to do something. Okay, so what I forgot to do is this. I always use some kind of a veil on my face, some kind of a primer or something. And this one is called Love Fill Nude Face Veil. And this is what it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna try to find links for this, but it's just honestly just like a primer, you guys. It just, I do have like pores. It's the one thing I don't like about my skin. I have pores here, and I have pores here. And I just like to put on like a little primer just to kind of, I mean, my beanie's gonna get so fucked right now. Okay, like that. Just like, you guys, I'm not too perfect. Okay, then I take that little concoction and I just kind of like swish it around. Okay, this is what. It looks like I don't really wear foundations. Um, all right. Then I'm actually trying to use all of Korean products right now, but there's some that I'm not. There's a girl in Canada who sent me this little like random care package, and it's so sweet of her. Like usually the care packages I get, I love them. Like blah blah blah. I use them as fun. But I found some. This girl sent me this. She's like, use this on. Use the Mac Prep and Prime on your eyebrows and. I did it. Oh my gosh. Whoever this is out there, you're probably watching. Smart person. Like, oh my god. Best idea ever. I'm sure everyone's out there like, uh, duh. But I didn't know that. And she totally gave me the best idea ever. So I do my eyebrows different now. Honestly, you guys, I'm starting to feel like those drawn on eyebrows. Like, you know, like, you know, on Instagram, all those like perfectly done, like Kardashian looking eyebrows. Those are like very basic, bitch. I feel like now, like, okay, everyone has those perfect eyebrows. It's like way too drawn on. I mean, of course I was doing it for a while because that was like the thing to do, but I feel like we need to do a little bit like less is more now with eyebrows. I mean, yeah, feel like really big eyebrows is like, I love it, but I feel like less drawn, more fluffy is kind of the way to go now, unless you want to look like clubbish. I don't know. Okay. So that's what I do now that I'm going to let it sit. So I look like I have snow all over my eyebrows right now. So excuse me. Next thing I'm going to do is this. These are called eye glosses, okay? And they have a cute little rabbit on the front, so it didn't like, it totally like encouraged me to buy it, but I saw the color, I got two of them. One of them's like a white sparkle, which I do really like. And the other one's more of like a, a straight skin color shimmer. You guys know I hate shimmer, but I like these eye gl glosses because it gives a whole other element to a, like a gloss face, not wet, but just dewy. Um, it, you know, I know a lot of people don't like the idea of like a wet eyelid. I already have naturally wet eyelids. It's kind of gross, and this does collect during the day. 
because I already have naturally wet eye, eye, eyelids, but I feel like, I don't know, I'm just liking this vibe right now. You guys will see in the end. So I just take my finger, I'm just gonna pat some contour. Okay, so um, this is by Can Make and it's called Nose Shadow Powder. Everyone who's too cheap or can't afford or isn't an idiot like me who went out and bought that um, Kevin Aquan shadow, like, or like, you know what I mean? You know that ever, Kevin Aquan like contouring shadow? Go out and get this. This is the best color ever. I have a problem with all these shadows or contouring stuff or bronzers turning orange on me. This one does not turn orange. It's like as good as Kevin Aquan. Um, and I, I don't know what color it is. You guys, fuck. I'm so sorry. It's this color. It's by Can Make. Um, and I think I can find the link to this. Can you please stop that? Sorry, she's um, being annoying. Okay, so I'm just... It, Unfortunately, they give you more shimmer than they do like this nice sh contouring powder, but whatever. It was like, I think it was like maybe $10. Okay, so I'm just gonna contour my nose. Like, I have like, I don't let you guys are probably like, oh, I like your nose or whatever, but I don't like my nose. I feel like I've broken it so many times up here, like, um, not broken, sorry, been punched because I was in martial arts for so many years, like 20 years. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. Just on, honestly, you guys, I do it on one side because this side is where the bump is. So if I put this brown shadow on this side, it only accentuates it more. I Josie Moran in Fair Number no. One. It's just a concealer. I love this stuff actually. I like it because it has like, what is it? Like Moroccan oil, whatever base, and it's like very dewy. It's not a matte issue. Okay, so like that. And then, so like a very straight nose. Not that I don't have a straight nose, it just, just looks a little... You guys, I'm not any kind of a makeup artist. I feel like you guys are like, this girl is a fucking idiot. There. Is that like a little bit too much of a contour? Do I like over contour myself? <laughs> Whatever. This is also can make cheek... Uh, cream cheek and it's number 13 it's really pretty um and just a little brush so you guys i'm you guys i think you might know from my instagram and my um my instagram and my Snapchat, which are both HRH collection, you guys can follow me. But um, I'm moving offices, and that's what I'm gonna be doing all day tomorrow. Oh no, sorry, Saturday and Sunday, and I'm gonna be doing it alone. Well, I have some like men that are helping me, but uh, it's just so stressful. I do everything myself. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, okay, now next is my little cat eye. This is really gross. Sorry, it's like really ugly. Okay, now I'm going to do my little cat eye, and, like, okay, I think it's, like, for me, I just do a flick. You guys know that? I'm not going to go through the whole thing every time. I always explain everything that I do. I'm never just, like, just do it and shut up. Okay, so I'm just going to do a small flick from the corner of my eye. Okay. That's it, and it kind of just like, I don't know, I don't want to have to draw the whole thing. It looks too makeup y it's too made up. This just looks like long lash, like an, look, this looks like I put on like fake lashes, I feel like. Someone wrote in the comments last night, I did read it, they're like, it looks like a wrinkle. And I was like, oh fuck, like maybe I'm putting, <laughs> so I'm, I'm like, oh shit, I don't want to have a fucking wrinkle. <laughs> okay. That's it. Oh, I love it. It's not wrinkled. So pretty. My um, Anastasia Dip Duo Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. I'm just going to kind of like do that. So I don't. You guys know I'm not into like I call. It, it's like it's kind of like. Okay. So for my eyebrows.
Okay, that's it. See how it kind of looks more natural than what I used to do? And I'm not doing like sweeps. I'm not doing like, um, I'm not like rechanging the shape or actually I'm just filling in more than drying. And so just so they don't look drawn in, drawn, drawn, drawn in, I'm gonna take my beauty blender and just tap the front of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna take the beauty blender and do that and that. Yeah, okay. Then, mm, I wanna put some lipstick on now because I'm pretty much almost done except for my uh, mascara. This lipstick is the shit, you guys. I did a Periscope uh, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago. This is a Korean brand, I don't know, it's number 21. Here's the bottle. If you guys are ever in a Korean store and you see this, it's usually at like, the counter they have all their lipsticks at like Palace Beauty and stuff. This is it, and it's very like 1970s, like, Very dead girl. Right? Isn't that so pretty? It's nice because it's nude pink and like white as well. I love it. I think it's so pretty. I'm looking bottle, super cute, right? Um, I'm gonna show you what I do and okay. So let me go, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the volume with what I do. Even though I still love my Givenchy a lot, I just bought these because I was like, so such a sucker for like the packaging, what they say they would do, you know? Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of bounce it. I'm not gonna like really pull up too much. See how it's kind of bounced around? Okay, bounce, 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 and then make sure you get all of the hairs because it's really like makes your eyes look so much bigger if you pay attention to that. If you miss any of the hairs, it's going to make your eyes look smaller, and obviously, you always want to have it. The bigger eyes, the better, in my opinion. Okay. That's done with the volume. All right, then I'm going to wait for that to dry a little bit. What else did I talk about? Anything else in here? Oh yeah, okay, I'll wait for that at the end. Okay, let me talk about my jewelry. So, jewelry is my, this is my silver t-shirt lariat. And I feel like everyone needs this piece. If you guys have the gold lariat, it's a very delicate, this is made out of a thicker, slightly thicker, really nice, so substantial chain. Like, it's just like, it's something you can throw on, but there is a clasp in the back, as well as an HRH authenticity tag. So this is just something that I wear with everything. Like, I wear with sweaters, it's pretty, I wear with everything, you guys, okay. And then this is my Sleek Mod Lariat. Okay, and these like layer really nicely. They layer with each other. So I always wear them inside. A lot of people wear them outside. They're just, whatever, you know, every, they all work. Like, it's just non-fest. Don't overthink anything with my line. Everything goes, like, it's effortless. If you want to, like, just, everything will layer perfectly so you don't have to worry about it. Um, okay, the next thing is, um, these are my single pearl chokers, and you guys might have seen that I wore the one with the classic pearl. This is now, I have this oil slick serpent pearl, and it's like a serpent color oil slick. It looks exactly like, you know, my Chanel bag, the oil slick one or whatever. It looks just like that. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's a crystal-based pearl, so it's actually crystal, but it's a pearl, like, um effect crystal I guess okay and this is my Coco curb choker and it's really beautiful silver chain with leather woven through it okay so this is that my set I love it so much I love it. it's like I'm in like yoga pants right now and this like shirt from Brandy Melville it feels just like just a top a tight shirt a beanie and I feel like this looks so cute right like you with trainers and like a like a jacket thrown over your shoulders and you could also wear this like out you know what I mean like I just feel like my line works with everything so all right, now, now on to the long. So now I'm taking long. And you guys know that I'm not putting any, like I don't wear eye, um, mascara on my bottom lashes now. I just feel like it really opens up your eyes and um, I don't know, I just like it. But I'm gonna put a little bit on this just on the ends to show that I, you know, that I have long la bottom lashes. Okay, so for the long, I'm just gonna cover the tips and pull up. And it really, like, that's, like, gross right there, though.
You guys know I'm huge on sprays, right? Like facial sprays. This one's by Tony Molly Luminous Goddess Aura Makeup Mist. Like, like that just speaks to me, right? I want to be luminous, like goddess, like aura. Like that's what you want your face to look like, right? Um, I don't know. It's like a little bit oily though when you shake it. Like, when you don't shake it, it separates and there's like oil in it. I don't know. I love all, all facial mists. Like I don't discriminate against facial. I'll use any kind of facial mist. I use them all the time. The fucking sprayer is messed up. I just like sprayed right here only. What the fuck? Gross. See that dewy look though? So pretty, right guys? You guys like it? It's sprayed on my hair right now. It's even more disgusting. Sorry. <sighs> okay. I'm loving this look. I hope you guys are too. So now I'm going to show you guys um, like a favorite look of mine that's very Korean inspired. I think everything that I have that I'm going to be wearing is probably from Korean stores, um, and uh, I don't know, whatever. I, I'm, I'm just gonna try to tell you guys where I got this stuff. Maybe, I don't know, let's see. Um, my, the sides of my tongue is so fucked up. Oh, I got my Korean cell phone case. Okay, uh, before I go, I wanna show you guys a new song, and it's by Jolene Tsai, Tsai and she's Chinese, and I found this old playlist of mine on YouTube and a lot of the songs that I had on there were ones that I like I have makeup all over my hand. Um is are from okay, so a lot of the songs I had on this playlist were from right when I got back from China from living there. And so I had all these like reminiscent songs and I remembered this one and I <laughs> <laughs> I just blast the shit in my car. Okay, hopefully you guys can see because my apartment's oh my gosh, Ming Chi is pulling at my pants. I want to show you guys stop it. Um my you guys know my apartment lighting is complete and utter shit, not to mention how fucking disgusting this place is by itself, which is a whole other story. Hopefully you guys know my issues. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of, I hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to back up and you can see the majority of it. I'll try to move the camera. So if, let me just kind of like go over the vibe real quick. Like I know a lot of you guys are like, okay, well that sucks because I can't find these clothes. Like I don't live in LA, I, they don't have them anymore, blah, blah, blah. So it's like, I just think there's a vibe to it. And the vibe is like not really color coordinating, like a, like a lot, like in a way, yes. But I feel like Asian girls, the ones that I'm trying to like be inspired by, they like wear like their $6,000 hot pink Hermes with like an orange jacket and like really cool pants with like a patch on them or something like that. Like, I don't know. Like they just do it in this effortless way, effortless way that doesn't look like tr they're trying too hard and it just works for some reason. So let me guys show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys my interpretation of it. An oversized kind of like granny sweater. I honestly think it's an English brand though. I did get it in like a Chinese clothing store, but I was told it's English, so I'm gonna tell you guys the name. I think it's called like Big, I think it's called Lazy Elf actually, but you guys have to see the back, you're gonna fucking die. Can you read it? I don't know if you can read it. Oh, don't you fucking love that? I think it's so cool. It has these like little eyes right here. Anyway, okay, so I'm just wearing, this is like a long shirt from H&M, it was like 10 bucks, like that long, but I tuck it in here so you can see the drop of these pants. You see how like they bag? I know this isn't for a lot of people, some people will be like, that's fucking gross, like you look like complete shit, like I like it, I think it's very urban, it's very cool, I don't feel like it looks like I'm trying too hard. The beanie, you guys, my hair is like, I've been not like washing my hair for a multitude of reasons. One, I'm fucking busy as hell. Second is because actually it's getting more healthy that I don't wash it so much. So, and I just feel like I look really cute in beanies actually. I've been getting like super head on because of my beanie. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is my, this is like, see what I told you guys about like not color coordinating as far as how Asian girls dress? This is like how they would, say for some reason, I just feel like it just works. I gotta show you guys my shoes though too. You kind of dig it, right? Oh, this is my Dauphine, my um, Dauphine choker, and this is in the Serpent AB. It's like an oil slick Serpent AB. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Serpent. Uh, ask, oh my gosh, what's it called? 
Serpent on acid, it's not AB, duh. And I'm also wearing, of course, my other two chains that I was wearing in earlier. I just always have them on. Just, I think it looks very sexy, you know what I mean? Like, I just love it. I can make you guys Dauphine chokers in any Dauphine you want. Let me move this. Ming, do you want to be in? Do you want to be in the camera? Do you want to be in the camera, Ming? Come here, Angel. Come here. Yeah, she wants to play so bad. Ming wants to be in too. You want to be in the camera? Okay, don't you like that? My small friend. My small friend. Okay. My small friend. My small friend. This is Ming Ming. This is Ming Xi. This is Ming Xi. You be nice, Ming Xi. You be nice. Oh. oh yeah, duh. My <laughs> purse too. So this is my new purse chain. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I've been talking about it nonstop only because it's like legit a life change, like a, it's a life game changer for real game changer. I hardly wore this bag ever because that disgusting leather strap that comes with it is so tacky looking. It's so cumbersome. It's not cute. I mean, here, it's in here. It's just like gross. Like, okay, I'm paying, like, look at it. it like, it's all fucked up. Like, look at how it's all... And I don't even know why. Like, I don't know why it kinked. It's just ugly. I, I don't, it's not cute. I don't know. I'm not into it. So I thought to myself, why the hell didn't they make it with a chain? So I made it with a chain and I made it with really nice, beautiful uh, hardware that is like a big O and it has a hinge on it, really nice hinge. And I put my HRH tag on it. So it's another option for you guys. If you have a Lady Dior, I'm only making silver at this time. But if you have a silver hardware bag that you want a chain for, it will work for speedies, it will work for, what else? Um, it will work for the Fendi's. It will totally work for the Fendi's. Actually, it's almost the same kind of hinge. It's the same kind of hinge that Fendi uses, actually. It's the same one. I use the same exact one, almost. It will use work for the Fendi's. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna actually make. And I don't mind mixing metals either. You guys know that. Like, I will always mix metals. So I'll put a silver chain a, on a gold bag any day. Like, I just like that. So just really easy to work. It will hold. It's a really nice, strong, thick chain. It's really pretty. These are the Adidas Campus. They're just like the kind of original Adidas that you probably had in, like, high school or... Maybe your boyfriend has, honestly. But fun, right? Just fun, casual. Like, I don't feel like it looks like I'm trying too hard. You guys might not be into the drop waist thing. It might, like, yeah, it does make your legs look short. So if you have short legs, it might be make them look even shorter. But whatever. It's not, like, an attractive look. It's just, like, a fun, different look. even leave it undone if you wanted to it's also like totally all right you guys well that's it i hope you guys like this video um thank you so much for all your support as far as um you know my channel my line and everything and you guys know i love you so much <laughs> and i guess that's it i will probably be doing a vlog Next week, I'm so busy right now as far as moving. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys my new office and everything. Um, a lot of the stuff is being delivered this weekend. So hopefully, um, yeah, follow me around on Instagram and all that kind of stuff. And you'll be able to see, or par uh, be able to see, what's it called? Snapchat, sorry. <laughs> you'll be able to see what's going on. But yeah, um, also, you guys know you can email me for anything you want regarding the, my line. Um, if you don't see an, a piece on in my site, you can email me. If you just think it's easier to email me, um, like just for a straight up order that's totally cool with me too just include your shipping address and i will help you no problem at all okay love you guys bye